Hey, it's me, Dave. How we doing? So today we're gonna do a little clowning. I know a lot of you have already done this in class. It's called a clown trip. It's a trip for stage. It's not a real trip, it's a clown trip. So most important thing about a clown trip is we're gonna trip up. We're not gonna trip down and fall on the ground. Nobody falls, nobody hits the ground. Nobody falls. We trip up so the audience can see us, see our expression, see our reaction, see what we're, what's happening. Maybe we're throwing something in the air, maybe we're not landing on it, unless it calls for it in an act. But I'm teaching you a trip up today, okay? No falls. So the first thing we need to do is we need to learn how to walk. Most people know how to walk, but I want you to study how you walk, figure out your gait. Okay, what I mean by gait is your stride, how far your step is from each other as you walk. Yeah, that makes sense. So now, do that a couple times, just walk around, feel it. Now when you go to trip yourself, you're gonna step with your weak foot. Step with your weak foot so that your strong leg can make the trip happen. As you step with your weak foot, your strong foot comes through and normally steps all the way through. But as we do this, we're going to kick with our heel. So you're gonna turn your foot out, kick heel to heel, catch your heel, and then step up and out. Continue the step with that foot. So it's a step with the weak, bring the, uh, the strong leg in, kick, and continue through. And step on the strong leg. Make sense? The reason we kick with our heel, two reasons. First reason, we don't want to hurt ourselves. If you step and kick with your toe, you can actually hurt your toe. If you're not wearing big boots like me, you can hurt your toe. You can kick and hurt your heel. You can drop, get off balance because you catch your toe and actually fall and hurt yourself. So what you want to do is open up so that you have this foot free to step on and catch yourself. Okay? Don't lock it up back here and actually fall. So, step heel to heel and step through. The second reason we do the heel to heel is because it looks like a trip. This looks like I'm tripping myself. Who does that? Who walks and catches themselves like that? Nobody does. The audience can see that. But if you're walking and you trip, oh, you barely even see what I tripped on. Make sense? So as I walk, my heel clicks and I step. That's the trip. So once again, you step, click, out. Okay, so we got that trip. Step, click with the heel and step out. We need to react. So everything goes up as you do it, up. If I'm carrying stuff, boom, I carry it and I throw it in the air. Makes it bigger, makes it easier to see on stage. All right, we have our pedestal here. Now, I'm gonna step up on this pedestal. How do you step up and miss the step? It's hard, and it can actually make you fall, so you don't wanna fall, you wanna keep your balance. Weak foot keeps your balance. Practice standing on your weak foot, moving your other foot around, keeping your balance on one leg. Gotta be balanced. You step with your weak foot. As you go to step up on the pedestal with your strong leg, your chest, your head, everything is up. It's not down here, it's up. You bring your hips through. As you go to step, you just miss the step. Miss it. As you miss it, you straighten that leg and immediately bring your weak leg up onto the step, okay? So it looks like this. Weak leg, strong leg up, miss, and step, okay? So. All right, try that one more time. Slow motion, step, miss, and on. So we'll pull back a little bit and we'll make this work. And we step, and that's the trip.